Hello and welcome to another edition of National Focus. I'm Mervyn Matthew. Thank you for joining us. In the headlines, 36 men and women are now officers of the Commonwealth of Dominica Police Force. And the Dominica Council on Aging celebrates September as the month of the elderly. Details of these and other stories after the break. Hey, I had a good time in town last week with a pretty girl, man. Hey, carry me next time when you're going now. Where we get paid Friday, we can go. Careful, to my catch AIDS. AIDS? Them girl pretty, pretty, pretty. Them girl can't get AIDS, man. Think it's only ugly women have AIDS? Anybody could get it. If you get sick, what you gonna tell your wife? Hey, your wife, come in. Hey, change the topic. Change the topic. Your family depends on you. Don't take home AIDS. Do you have uncovered water storage drums around your home? Do you dispose of old tires, cans and old containers capable of holding water anywhere in your environment? Are you being bitten by mosquitoes, particularly at dusk and early morning? Do you keep houseplants in water? Do you spend your hard-earned cash to control mosquitoes? Has your community experienced dengue fever outbreaks? If your answer is yes, to at least three questions above, you are at risk to dengue fever. Join the fight against dengue fever. The responsibility for a dengue-free Dominica lies with you. So, get rid of the Aedes aegypti mosquito. mosquito. The facts as they are brought to you every day, every day, every day. only on GIS Channel 7. Welcome back. Time now for the details of the news. 36 men and women are now members of the Commonwealth of Dominica Police Force. Officers successfully completed six months of intense training at the police training school in Monbrus and graduated on Monday during the 31st recruits training course. The program was attended by the President of Dominica, His Excellency Elod Williams, who also inspected the Guard of Honor. Inspector Paul Laville is chief instructor at the police training school in Monbrous. The main objective of the course is to produce confident, efficient, and professional police officers who will deliver effective and quality service to the public. The course was delivered by way of tutorials, supported by teaching aids, group work, problem solving exercises, role plays, and I can tell you some of them role played really well. Scenarios, discussions, demonstrations, and practices. Ladies and gentlemen, these 36 recruits standing here before you today have successfully survived an intense six months of training. And for that, they should be proud. You, their families and friends, should also be proud. The officers completed several training modules in theoretical and practical skills. Police administration, police duty subjects, crimes, vehicle and road traffic, court processes and procedures, observation skills, beat duties, communication skills, physical training, self-defense, arms and foot drills, firearm training, First aid, sociology, psychology, human rights, among others. Inspector Lavin says the officers recorded an overall pass rate of 97.2% in the examinations. The chief instructor had encouraging words of advice for the new police officers. Let me encourage you to continue to strive 
for excellence. As you join the ranks of the Commonwealth of Dominica Police Force, the learning process has begun. In fact, you are shooting today your first step. You need to develop a passion for policing and not just regard it as a monthly paying job. You are joining at a time when much more is demanded from the police. And the conduct and discipline of police officers are called to question. You will face numerous challenges and will be called upon to make tough decisions as police officers. Let me remind you to be confident, be firm, be fair, be courteous, be true to the oath of office that you took, to execute your function without favor or affection, malice or ill will, and to discharge these functions according to law. And Chief of Police Daniel Cowan also addressed Wednesday's ceremony. Maintain and keep your bodies healthy at all times. Live a very healthy lifestyle. If you don't, it will have implications for your career and a negative effect on the organization. As police officers, during the performance of your duties, you must be true to the oath that you have sworn to at all times. You must respect the rights of everyone that you come into contact with in the performance of your duties. Always remember that you are paid by the state with taxpayers' money to do a service. The police is a civilian force and not a military. Be firm and fair in the execution of your duties. Perform your duties professionally with a sense of purpose, pride, and dignity. Minister for National Security, Honorable Charles Saver, reminded the new police officers of the efforts made by the administration and the police force to ensure that they achieve their dreams of becoming police officers. You, the graduating class, are fully aware of the considerable time and resources which have been invested in your training. Now you are entering a new role one that is subject to intense scrutiny and constant demands. I am confident, however, that the rigorous training you have just completed will have adequately prepared you for carrying out your duties as police officers. I urge you to bring your newly acquired professionalism, character, and training to all the challenges you will undoubtedly face during your policing career. GIS News will bring you more details of the 31st Recruits Training Course graduation ceremony in Friday's newscast. The United Nations First Ever Secretary General Envoy on Youth, Ahmad Al-Hindawi, has announced that the body is working on an action plan for youth development. Al-Hindawi was explaining his role and strategy to participants of the 2013 Reham Al-Farah Memorial Journalist Fellowship Program on Tuesday at the UN headquarters in New York. According to the official, the United Nations has recognized that youth must have a voice in decisions pertaining to their well-being. The organization's bid to facilitate that move began when he was selected as the Secretary General's envoy on youth to coordinate the workings of each UN entity in a streamlined effort to make life better for youths worldwide. Alan Dawi said further that part of this major undertaking involves promoting voluntarism among youth. The youth official believes in the importance of getting the 1.2 billion young people of the world directly involved in development. He called for global participation from youth as well as visible investments in their potential. Ahmad disclosed that youth have the option of becoming equally important online volunteers by signing up on un.org slash youthyear. He noted that during the month of September, more information will be revealed on a new strategy for revamping the United Nations volunteer program. The Believers Multi-Purpose Cooperative launched the second phase of production for its cooperative in Woodford Hill on Tuesday. 
This luncheon was attended by representatives of the Ministry of Agriculture, the Global Environmental Facility Small Grants Program, and the members of the cooperative. Among other products, the Believers Multipurpose Cooperative is heavily involved in the production of virgin coconut oil. The expansion of the cooperative into Woodfordale seeks to increase productivity to meet the growing demands of the product known as Rafa Coconut Oil. Mr. Felix Leslie, representative of the Ministry of Agriculture, in his remarks at that ceremony, made a case for the agriculture sector. He said he believes the best way forward for growth and development of Dominica is through this sector. He referred to the coconut subsector as a sleeping giant not being fully explored. Agricultural development, I believe, is key to the development of this nation. Some people may have other views, but I just want to tell you that's my view. Um, not only because I work in the agricultural sector, but if you look around us, and you look around Dominica today, that's what we have. We have land, we have water, and we have a resourceful people. If you look closely at the history of Dominica, one will recognize that the development of this country has been agriculture. And if you just look quickly at the history of Dominica, and you look at coconuts, you look at bananas, and you look at citrus, these are three subsectors within the agricultural sector that has impacted us so much. And the coconut sector is one that has not been fully explored. Just two years ago, we had a visit from a professional from India, an agricultural professional, Dr. Kumar. He didn't come on coconuts, but it amazed him to see what is happening to a crop that has tremendous potential. The technical officer pledged the continued support of the Ministry of Agriculture to BMC Limited and encouraged all the farmers to come together in groups to, in order to achieve greater success. According to Lloyd Pascal, who is the director of the Environmental Coordinating Unit, Research has shown that virgin coconut oil is among the healthiest oils for consumption. The oil is not only healthy for cooking, but a teaspoon per day can help to lower blood pressure and build the immune system. He encouraged Dominicans to use the natural resources available on the island in order to create employment, sustainable development and foster healthy lifestyles. All the oils that we are using are the things that are killing us in this country. All the vegetable oil, whether if it is corn, whether if it is canola, for that matter, there is no such plant. If you, you say corn oil, you say sunflower oil, you say soy oil, you know that all of them are plants. There is absolutely no plant in the world that is called canola. So when you read and you hear about something, say canola oil, what is that? It is some Canadian, C-A-N-O-L-A, -A, that abbreviated to make us believe that canola is, a, is, is, is something. Canola oil, in fact, used to be a lubricant for machines. They have refined it and given it heat and heat and deodorized it to the point where today it is on the self the shame oil. And people are using it and they bathe in it, they do everything we cook, and then we tell the world, oh, we have a problem of chronic, non-communicable diseases. Adrian Barnes, president of BMC Limited, says the cooperative is looking to expand the production of the Rafa coconut oil to serve not only local but international markets as well. The cooperative is also looking forward to developing a coconut farmers association in order to ensure quality and consistency of the product. The cooperative has plans for a factory and there are also plans for equipment that will help reduce the cost of production in order to make the product more affordable for all. All the things that we are looking forward to do is to, is to get a solar system so we can reduce the cost of the oil. So we are really trying, to, when you build the, the state-of-the-art factory, we are looking forward to put a solar system in it so we can reduce the cost. I really want to reduce the cost so the local people can buy it, so it can go into every home in Dominica. So 
we are really moving forward. As I said, we were at Casablos, the first phase where we started. We're just going through the through the preliminary stages. We now we now moving into Woodford Hill, where we are now renting a facility, and we are still putting the facility together. But we thought it's necessary for us to do that this afternoon, so we can get the ball rolling. And the next, the next, the third phase is the state of the art factory. It will be in Melvin Hall. The president made a plea to those looking to do business. He says the cooperative is open for investment opportunities. Kalinago Chief Garnet Joseph, who represented the Jeff Small Grants Program, commended the team for their initiative, saying that in keeping with the Jeff's policy, they have chosen the best way to provide an income for members. This is what the Jeff Small Grants Program is all about. It is uh, empowering people uh, to make changes in their, in their own lives. It is at the, at the same time um, uh, looking at how we can um, protect our environment and make use of what, is, uh, what God has provided for us in that natural environment. The funding from Jeff Small Grants Program has enabled BMC Limited to obtain new equipment for processing, conducting workshops, developing new labeling for the product, engaging in marketing and upgrading the processing space. The ceremony ended with a tour of the new production space. Among activities held in Dominica during the month of September, the Dominica Council on Aging will recognize this month as the Month of the Elderly. The Council is a voluntary non-government, non-profit organization which was established in 1993. The Council serves as a coordinating body for the national groups concerned with the welfare of older persons. This year, the program of activities will be held under the theme, Come Walk in My Shoes. It's a way of bridging the generation gap and it also tells us and tells them do for me what you would like me to do for you. On Monday, His Excellency Eliot Williams, President of the Commonwealth of Dominica, declared the month of the elderly officially open. The government of Dominica has accepted recognition of the fact that every year from September 1st through and through, throughout the month that we will observe that period as the month of the elderly. It is a time where we try to showcase the work of the elderly. We try to sensitize persons as to what they should think of older persons. And as well, we try to let the people know some of the different activities we are undertaking. This year, activities include various media coverage, social and folk night, Grandparents' Day, a day designated for sports, games and the culture on the Geneva playing field in Grand Bay. On the 8th, which is uh, Grandparents' Day, sporting activities will take place on the Geneva playing field. We hope to start at 10 a.m. We expect to have as many grandparents and older persons from all over Dominica. And it falls in nicely because September is also Caribbean Wellness Month. So grandparents will get the opportunity to be involved in sporting activities as well. The Council on Aging will also hold National Rally on Sunday, September 29 at the Benjamins Park in Portsmouth. This rally is a first for the DCOA and on that day the Council will recognize and award several outstanding senior citizens. The month will also see a host of other activities. We are going to promote mon on Monday, September 16th, a school awareness program and a dollar day at all, the, at all the various schools. We have received um, a lot of assistance from the Ministry of Education and the various schools in that area. So this will be something that we are hoping island wide will be recognized at all the schools on September 16th. We are hoping that on September 22nd, the president's message would be presented or read at all churches around Dominica. And throughout the rest of the week, of the month, sorry, there'll be various activities 
in town hall style, in outings and different um, in different areas where the various groups are going to are going to execute and where they are going to be able to showcase what all the persons are doing. The celebrations will culminate on Tuesday, October 1st, which will be recognized island-wide as the International Day of Older Persons. GIS will bring you more on activities undertaken by the Domingo Council on Aging in a subsequent newscast. And that's the English news. Mark Wilson St. Louis joins us next with the Creole highlights. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ce nouvel en Creole. Non, moi, c'est Mark Wilson St. Louis. Premièrement, le gouvernement Dominique a gardé le vent pour l'estation police La Plaine en opération pendant l'année. Parole ça la sortie du ministère de la Sécurité nationale, Honorable Charles Savren. Contract pour faciliter neuf cela, si il y a À moins qu'il y ait l'année, euh, nous sommes supposés tenir en police station neuf, avec aussi un CAI neuf pour inspecteur de police, avec euh, euh, nous qui ça tient l'audience. À la même cas la police station là, parce que nous mettez uh, uh, place à la police station là. Quand on a une autre place, avec nous qui s'achènent uh, uh, la loi là. On a vu ça, on a fait parole qu'ils ont fait crime qui a affecté tout le pays, et puis le gouvernement Dominique bien concerné comme ça. Moi-même, quand le ministre qui a une responsabilité pour la police, la sécurité, avec la police comme ça, Kaké uh, Asi, tout le monde, Dominique, uh, pour faire catcher, pour faire yo savoir, pour faire yo um, reconnaître que les crimes sont en on, 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 on qui a affecté tout le pays. Malgré nous, quand on regarde l'autre pays, en Caraïbe, la même avec les autres pays, ou qui dit que, eh bien, bagay pas tout mal à Dominique parce qu'il n'y a plus de crime à l'autre pays. Ça, c'est vrai. Mais nous, même quand le gouvernement nous a dit que chaque fois qu'il y a un crime fait, ça, c'est un crime à tout. Parce que quand le monde compte un crime, même s'il n'y a pas de violence, même s'il n'y a pas de violence, comme c'est dit, ça a affecté comme il a considéré à ma sécurité yo à place à place là comme ça nous même pas qu'à dire eh bien l'autre pays tient plus de crimes qui dominent comme ça toute bagarre bon pour nous et si y a un crime c'est un crime trop comme ça nous voulons pour toute nécessaire action qui nous sert pour baisser à crime à Dominic on a nouvelle plaisir activité qui prend place pour 25 anniversaire indépendant Dominic l'année 2013 a Walsala, so the old chef officer culture, Monsieur Raymond Lawrence. Nous avons remercié bon Dieu. Um, uh, L'année Sala, nous avons célébré la musique, nous, danse, nous, manger, nous, um, had nous, had quail, nous, à Dominique. Um, nous avons fait un festival dans tout le district à Dominique, dans la danse, dans le conte, dans le bel air, you know, um, chanson quail et tout le bagage comme ça. Um, nous avons Journée Héritage à Bagatelle, World Creole Music Festival, National Cultural Gala, Flag Day, National Youth Rally, Madame Wabduyet, Miss Wabduyet, um, nous avons National Day of Community Service, nous avons History Week, um, là, nous avons observé le thème là, c'est Coup de main, um, nous avons Art and Craft Exhibition, le thème là, c'est Breadfruit. Et bien, nous avons une activité qui est pour place à la célébration. Donc, so, nous avons encouragé tous les Dominicains pour participer à la célébration. Et bien, les Dominicains qui, qui vivent dans l'autre pays, nous avons invité eux pour venir, pour vivre à Dominique, pour célébrer avec nous aussi. Alors, nouvelle, le gouvernement Dominique a fait parole qui a qui conduit un programme où là, tout étudiant de Dominique qui a bénéficié et puis tout le Parole celle-là sorti votre premier ministre, Honorable Roosevelt Skerritt. Si l'on Honorable Skerritt, le gouvernement a aussi voué plaisir application votre power, qui a consigné traitement pour les enfants à eux, comme ça, le gouvernement a mérité de mettre en place pour adresser cette situation-là. Et des programmes celle-là qui voué étudier un test à eux pour connaître les conditions. 
14 mil étudiants qui ont bénéficié à ce programme. C'est là, comme un premier ministre Skerit aussi fait par Wall, qui ont un comité établi pour l'initiative. C'est là, Rotary Club Dominique et puis Cuba, qui a supporté le gouvernement et puis l'initiative. C'est là. Finalement, plusieurs d'autres activités qui prennent place à part des grands stages ou la performance qui prennent place pour World Creole Music Festival, ça c'est le festival créole mondial l'année 2013. Par Wall Cellar, qui a sorti officier la place Dominica Festival Committee, Miss Leroy Wadiko Charles. Nous décidons l'année là ça, nous avons un événement sur Gossen là. Et puis après ça, nous avons eu un gros, gros, gros événement sur Foot Court. So, comme on a quitté Gossen là, nous avons eu une activité là toujours, mais nous avons eu une activité à côté de Baou là. Ces places là, ces gens là qui mangé, qui boit tout ça. Nous avons eu une activité et plusieurs, c'est différent, petit orchestre. Et puis DJ qui a joué là, so, nous avons eu une activité à ce Foot Court là, les gens qui ont rentré et aussi à ce Gossen là. So, nous avons invité tout le monde. Et tout le monde ne peut pas seulement venir à ce festival là pour voir une grosse scène là, mais pour voir une petite scène là aussi, parce qu'il y a un petit orchestre qui, pour qu'on fait non, nous a décidé de faire à jouer à ce foot court là. Mais c'est mesdames, ça c'est tout pour nous nouvelle en créole pour à présent. Non, moi c'est Mac Fossum, c'est Au revoir. Coming up next, your tip of the day. Do you have uncovered water storage drums around your home? Do you dispose of old tires, cans and old containers capable of holding water anywhere in your environment? Are you being bitten by mosquitoes, particularly at dusk and early morning? Do you keep houseplants in water? Do you spend your hard-earned cash to control mosquitoes? Has your community experienced dengue fever outbreaks? If your answer is yes, to at least three questions above, you are at risk to dengue fever. Join the fight against dengue fever. The responsibility for a dengue-free Dominica lies with you. So, get rid of the Aedes aegypti mosquito. mosquito. Get regular eye checkups. Seeing an eye doctor once a year is maybe the most important thing you can do for your eyes and your general health. These checkups can let you know about your vision problems you may have and help you fix them with glasses or contact lenses. Having clear vision can improve your quality of life and it can also help you avoid headaches and other eye-related health problems. Your eye doctor will also look for signs of eye disease such as glaucoma that may have no symptoms. Finding such eye diseases early can prevent more problems and even blindness. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website at news.gov.dm. On behalf of the entire news production team, I'm Moving Matthew. Thank you for watching.